Hi, my name is Louie and I'm with Premier RV of Oregon. And today we're gonna to talk about the 2003 Country Coach Allure. Uh, it's in great condition. Um, it is 65,000 miles. It's got the 370 Cummins and we're asking 89,999 for this coach. And again, as always, we're always looking for new consignments here at Premier RV. If you have a pre-owned, well-maintained diesel pusher, we would love the opportunity to sell it for you. Well, as you just witnessed, uh, that turn was pretty incredible. Uh, that's the benefit of this coach. It's, uh, it's under 40 feet, actually. It's actually measured 39 feet, 10 inches uh, with the tag axle. Uh, so that gives me an incredible amount of maneuverability because my wheelbase is so much shorter because of the tag. Also I have lots of storage, um, which I'll show you here in a couple minutes. Um, the tag axle on all country coaches, it's an air system, so it's gonna lift it up off the ground. Um, and just like all the other country coaches, this has the independent front suspension, which has a 50 degree turn. And so that's what gave me that maneuverability right here. It almost turns like a 36 footer. So pretty cool. Uh, I really like the 2003 country coach Allure's. Uh, this one's in really good shape with only 64,000 miles. Uh, it's a nice opportunity for someone to purchase. Um, here we're gonna have, a, it has a dual fill, so it's 110 gallons on the diesel. Uh, you could fill it from either side. Uh, the first bay right here is gonna be the propane bay. This is gonna run your refrigerator. Um, it's also gonna run the hot water heater and your cooktop, so three burner cooktop inside. Right here is gonna be a full pass-through bay. You're gonna have two of these. So quite a bit of storage. These are dual directional trays. So they'll slide to either side of the coach. You'll notice how everything's partitioned off like on all country coaches with that semi monocoque chassis. So it's all insulated behind here and everything is in one central location. So when you slam on the brakes, your stuff back there is not gonna slide up to the front, which is kind of cool. Um, one of the differences between the lures and the intrigues basically is that these are aluminum doors where the intrigues one level up is gonna have fiberglass. So they're still insulated behind here. The second pass-through bay is right here. And again, it's gonna have another dual directional tray that'll slide either way. Uh, if you want an outside TV or anything like that, you have a 110 outlet right here and you have your cable inputs there. So it's all pre-wired and all that good stuff. So it's also gonna have the hydronic heating system. Um, so that's going to give you a really good furnace inside the coach. This coach does also have two heat pumps that are 13,500 heat pumps. When it gets below 40 degrees, you're going to want to go to your primary heating system. And this is going to have that hydronic heating system on this coach. On the back side of this is your plumbing tank. So you got your fresh water and your black and gray tanks. So uh, gray is gonna be, from my memory, it's uh, 71 and black is 63. Fresh water is 100 gallons. So it's all insulated. It's also heated bay, so it prevents the, from freezing up and all that good stuff. Your drive axles here, tag axle here. We talked a little bit about that. Again, I, I really like the two slides on these allures. 
uh, because with that you could get the optional $5,000 Gerard awning, which gives you great coverage for out here. It's very low to the ground, gets you a tremendous amount of shade, which is really nice. These are just pull down awnings here. Back here is going to be your two house batteries and your cranking batteries. Oh, I should say this is your cranking battery, and then this customer decided to go with um, little golf cart style batteries. So you've got six house batteries here. And then your inverter is going to be located up there. Then that looks like a 2000 watt inverter. And on this coach, on the lure, it's also going to have the Dynamax chassis. Um, so that's something Country Coach build their own chassis with the independent front suspension, semi-monocoque chassis itself, tag axle. Also, powered on one of the best engines out there. This is the 370 ISL Cummins uh, with the six-speed Allison transmission, the 3000. So this actually has 1,200 pounds of torque, just like the 400 ISL. Same amount of torque, and that's what's going to power you up the hill. So. It was more of a product separation why they didn't offer the 400 on the lure, they offered the 370 because it was about $30,000 retail less than the Country Coach Intrigue back in those days. As you can see, everything's been really well maintained here. Uh, this is your reservoir for your coolant, your power steering fluid, hydraulic fluid. You could stop the engine from back here if you're doing any work on it. Um, so everything's really, really clean, which is nice. It shows the pride of ownership. This coach actually has had two owners. Uh, the current owner bought it back in 2017. So, got the famous country coach mud flap here. 10,000 pound hitch. Yep. And then your backup camera. It's got the exterior ladder. And just like all the country coaches, this is a one piece roof cap. It's fiberglass, so you and all your friends could get up there and you won't have a problem because it's got a laminated ceiling and roof. So uh, it's got lots of insulation value and it's got a lot of strength. So shore cords right here, it's power. And of course, side mounted radiator for easier access to the engine. The bedroom slide, as you can see right here, it fits flush into the coach like all country coaches. It's a hydraulic mechanism, HWH. Uh, that's gonna be your vent for your washer dryer. This I think has a combo washer dryer in it. And then of course this bay is your plumbing bay. Uh, pretty simple here. You got your jackknife for your black and gray tanks. You can fill your fresh water from here. Your city water connections here little holder for your sewer hose. Uh, cleaning your tanks, your black and gray tanks. Uh, that's your no flush flush system. Right behind this little compartment is going to be your water pump. And you could turn the water pump on here also. So pretty clean, uh, pretty simple. Got to like those bay doors. They shut very nicely. So this is just the back side of the dual directional slide tray of your two pass-through bays. So lots of storage with a 40-footer that is actually under 40 feet. Most 40-footers are like 41 feet. This is actually 39 feet, 10 inches. This is going to be the other side of the storage bay here. Tons of storage. And you notice the height? That's the benefit of that semi-monocoque chassis. So here we're going to have the Onan 8K generator. Super clean. Inside we'll look at the hours on it. So it's right above the entry door. It's a nice clean coach. Uh, the other side of your dual uh, diesel tank. The front compartment might be locked, well, not necessarily. So you got your pump for your hydraulic slides. This is an auxiliary air compressor, so 
just to keep the coach level. Uh, it's all using air for the suspension. There's no jacks on any of these country coaches. Um, so you just push the level button inside, it'll keep the coach level. And this will, the system will wake up and if it sees that it's lost some air over time, it'll actually keep it level off this auxiliary compressor. Right. So again, one piece roof cap, and there's no seams up there, which is nice. Uh, it has the 3M nose coat protection here. It's in actually really good condition for being original from back in 2003. That kind of shows that this coach has been stored inside its whole life, which is nice. So that's it for the outside. We're going to go on the inside and talk about all the other features inside this 2003 40-foot Allure. Thank you. Well, people always ask about what does the coach look like with the slides in so we thought we'd leave the slides in right now we'll bring them out here in a second but as you can see everything is very functional and uh, these slides go out 24 inches but everything is still usable as you're driving down the road well we finally got to the inside of this coach um, as you can see it's got the maple cabinets it's got a really nice size kitchen Lots of counter space. So it's going to have stainless sink here. Uh, and it's got the three burner cooktop here. So everything fits really nicely here. The country coach detail here. Uh, lots of counter space here and tons of storage. So if you like to cook, this is a great floor plan. A little pantry area, some drawers here, nice hardware, storage underneath. Everything's carpeted so your stuff's not moving around while driving. And again, more storage here. So, quite a bit more storage up here. This is your microwave convection oven here. And what's also nice is that they have the pull-out table. So that extends, and then it also has the wall module with even more storage. So for a 40-footer, this coach has quite a bit of storage, as you can see. And the famous drink set by Country Coach. You always know how well a coach drives, where these don't even move around as you're going down the road. Pretty cool. And then up here, uh, this was custom ordered in the sense that they wanted the computer table here instead of another sofa. So it's got a little file drawer here and another drawer. Just like all the other country coaches, this is all three quarter inch wood. It's everything solid, it's not photo wrapped, it's not veneer, real high quality. On uh, the padded vinyl ceiling, we talked about the roof earlier. Uh, being fiberglass, this is also a vacuum bonded ceiling, which it has five and a half inches of insulated material. It's got rafters of steel and then insulated material and then low on wood on both sides and then your fiberglass roof goes on top of it. So these coaches are really, really well insulated and underneath on the floor right here is a two and a half inch thick floor uh, that's also laminated. So it's one and a half inch of tube steel. It's insulated and it has Meringue plywood on the top portion and another piece of wood on the bottom. And that gives you that two and a half inch thick floor that is bolted down to the chassis itself. Uh, I haven't gone into this earlier, but also the side walls are steel and they're actually welded to the whole coach also. So this comes back in. So great storage up front here, as you can see. Uh, the current owners, they got rid of the front TV and we built these cabinets for this storage area right here. And what they did is they mounted the TV on this cabinet. 
Now, we could do anything you want. So if you wanted to do a TV lift, if you wanted here, or a different TV up here, that's something that we're more than capable of doing. So uh, back here, we've got the Dometic. I think these are 12 or 14 cubic feet. Looks like they took out the ice maker like what a lot of people do. We could put it back in if you'd like. And it has the drawers here. Full extension hardware. If you want to go with a residential, we could take these drawers out, put a residential refrigerator here and also. So that's uh, we do a lot of those upgrades also. Just point that out. And then here's the shower. It's got a little seat area. Good size shower. Vanity sink, storage here, storage here. The washer dryer, it's the combo. And then more storage up here. You got the water closet there. So it's got these pocket doors that are gonna meet right here in the middle. Give you the privacy back here. There's also another full pocket door here and another one here that goes to the galley there. The bedroom with the double slide, what you get is the bed obviously slides out here. You get a lot of storage here, but you get the bigger wardrobe, this full length wardrobe, which is huge. Two extra folding chairs, all the manuals for this coach, but tons of storage here. Even down here, it's got a little safe. Looks like the bedroom TV has been upgraded. These are going to be your breakers, all your 110 breakers here, and more storage. These are all these drawers. So, tremendous amount of livability in this coach. It is a queen size bed, it does have a nightstand on both sides. Um, and again, storage here. So. You could also start the generator back here. Uh, it's got the engine block heater, so if you're in cold weather, you could preheat the engine. By having your hydronic heat system on, that's also going to preheat it. So. so, really nice floor plan. Again, it's under 40 feet. It's going to maneuver like a 36-footer. And then up front here, it's going to have the silver leaf, which gives you all your information on your engine and transmission, your backup camera, two stage Jake brake, tag axle lift here. This, it says it's 12 feet, one inch. You could actually drop them down another four inches. So you could get this coach probably, uh, probably in the 12, 8, 12, 7 range as far as height of the exterior. That's including the roof airs. Um, this is your AV cabinet area. A lot of it, their uh, satellite receiver has been taken out. Um, but any types of upgrades that you would want to do from an AV standpoint, TVs, that's right up our alley. We do a lot of uh, upgrades in our service department. So, that's it for the 2003 40-foot Country Coach Allure. We're asking 89999 and I think it was 64,000 miles approximately. Uh, it's been well-maintained, two owners, and I think it's a great coach. Um, again, we appreciate you watching our videos, and if you hit the subscribe button, that would be great. We'll have some more videos coming here shortly. Thank you.